So any problem with the video? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I'm Dr. Daniel Cott, Director of Mecca Techs. And today what we're doing is setting up the command and control center for the drone searches and drone mapping. Primarily today we're interested in a drone search and rescue, SAR. So what we have here is Alex with the Autel Evil 2 drone with a high resolution camera. And we have the Autel live deck here picking up the signal from the drone. Okay picks up the signal from the drone, then it puts it out with an output on the front on HDMI, okay, uh, Ethernet, and USB. And then, in this case, we're going D HDMI into a monitor, so it can be, uh, and we also have a splitter, HDMI splitter, that we could have four or five monitors spread uh, around an area. Also, it will go into the com computer through the video capture card, okay, which means it goes from HDMI into USB. And then the USB goes into the computer, and then once it's in the computer, we can manipulate it in different ways. In this case, we can put it on Zoom. And once it's on Zoom, anybody in the world on the Internet can uh, see it. They must have the ID and they must have the password to get in. So it is secure. We can also, with the same software, put it on YouTube and put it on a private channel. So a lot of pro public safety people, that's what they're doing. In this case, what we're going to do tonight is take the drone, go out to the fire department here, uh, training session, and they've got a burned out car. We're going to walk around the car and show the video from a, let's say a burning car or a burned out car. And uh, then that can come down from there. That car is about a half a block away. That signal will come down to the computer and here and also to the live deck. So anybody with a phone or a tablet anywhere in the world can on the internet. And if we give them the proper password and information, they can get in touch with it. What we're doing tonight is a radio club meeting, a ham radio club meeting for Central Texas. So when we go out to the car, we've got the GMRS handheld, and with that, we can talk to the, the smaller handhelds, like this here, GMRS, and we can also talk to the FRS channels. So at the low grade level, below the ham license level, we can communicate with uh, pilot, uh, Alex the pilot, out at the vehicle. Then, our command and control young lady here from, with her search training, you want to turn around? Uh, and show them the search. Oh, yeah. She was search training, trained, and she has a radio license. She has a technician license, and Alice has technician extra and the what, the other one? Um, amateur extra, general, and technician. Technician extra and what? General. General license. So they're both trained in the ham radio license world. So we can work with the FRS world, the GMRS world, and then level that information, leverage it into the ham radio world. This is our kit. This is the Autel Evil 2, the one that came out this year. Uh, and the advantage of that one we went over yesterday, it has three cameras. It has a low resolution camera, high resolution camera, and a dual camera. The dual camera has got the, uh, uh, for public safety people, it has the uh, FLIR on it, infrared for heat sensing, and then it's also got a RGB camera. Here's last year's. Autel, that's Autel number one, and uh, it's still a very good drone, and there's a lot of advantages of the Autel drone over the market. Here we have the standards being set for the National Firefighter Protection Association for people uh, who are going to deal with the fire departments or fire uh, training. 
Okay, come back a little bit, Roy. <coughs> so, this is our team. We train the young, young people, what we call mentoring the youth. Um, she is involved with search training. We're in Central Texas, and the training is being sponsored by FEMA, and it's being given down in San Marcos, Texas, about two hour drive from here. So uh, they're doing Zoom once a month. So Thursday night of this week, they will have a Zoom session that she'll be on and I will be on uh, with the young people that took the training for CERTs uh, the summer before last. So that pretty well explains what we're doing. Uh, and we're going to start uh, the radio club meeting in just a little bit. <clears throat>